Please be seated. Good evening. My name is Julio Utino. I'm the Dean of the McCormick School of Engineering and Applied Science. And I welcome all of you to our winter PhD Houdin and master's degree recognition ceremony. And a very special welcome to those of you who are joining us from locations around the world through our webcast. It is my pleasure to have you all here today. We are happy to celebrate with you. Both our PhDs and master's students play a critical role in the life of McCormick. As a graduate student, no, you not only challenge yourself to learn new things and create new knowledge, but you serve as role models and mentors for other graduate students and our undergraduate students. You connect it with colleagues across departments and schools, curating your own whole brain network, and you enrich many of our programs by bringing your unique perspectives. Our job is to teach you, but much of the time we find that you teach us. I recognize that some of you have made special sacrifices either by putting careers on hold while pursuing your degree full time or by combining substantial part-time study with full-time career. One of the best things about our PhDs and master's programs is that our students represent the broad range of ages, backgrounds, and careers. You all have brought diversity of thought and experience to your education, and you live not only with a degree, but with a community of some of the best minds in your fields. It has been an honor to participate in your education. Our school is a better place because of you. Today should be an incredibly proud moment for all of you. But you could not have achieved this without the help of your parents, spouses, partners, family and friends who have shared in the many sacrifices, challenges, and successes of graduate study. Let's give all of them a round of applause.
para Silverman Professor and Chair of the Department of Bioengineering at the University of California, Berkeley, and as a Professor of Material Science and Engineering and Chemical Engineering at Lawrence Berkeley Laboratory. Prior to that, for a number of years, he was Dean of the School of Engineering in the school in Santa Barbara. He received his bachelor's degree in chemical engineering from Northwestern University and his PhD in polymer science and engineering from the University of Massachusetts. I'm sure he will share some of what he has learned along the way with all of you here today. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome to the podium Matt Tyrrell. Thank you very much, Dean Otino. Distinguished faculty and administration, honored guests, parents, family, and friends, and most importantly, graduating members of this class of 2018. Referring to Dean Otino by his official title is slightly unnatural for me, since he and I first met when he was a graduate student himself, and I was a first-year assistant professor at the University of Minnesota. But the fact that I am an undergraduate alum of the McCormick School and that Dean Otino invited me here to speak gives this, gives this opportunity to speak a particular honor and significance for me personally. I'm in my 42nd year of being a professor of engineering, having received my BS here and my PhD from UMass, as you just heard. And I can say with certainty that the foundational education that I received at Northwestern, and especially some of the superb engineering faculty members here who helped me acquire it were decisive factors in my choice of an academic career and whatever success I've had in pursuing that career. Each of you, no doubt, had your own reasons for seeking the advanced degree that you're being awarded uh, today. For me, the reasons are twofold, and they may or may not be obvious. Northwestern's co-op program for undergraduate engineers and the inspirational teaching that I uh, received here, which I've already alluded to. The very valuable formative experience I gained here came from the co-op education program, now the Walter P. Murphy Cooperative Engineering Education Program. With the help of that program, I was placed in a chemical company in New Jersey where I had grown up, and I returned to this company uh, throughout the entire 18 months of my co-op experience, covering parts of my third, fourth, and fifth years of undergraduate school. I worked in production, maintenance, capital projects, and research in four different co-op periods. Though for most people, the co-op program is the entree into an industrial job, and my co-op company actually did offer me a job, for me, that experience was a decisive factor in my choosing to go to graduate school. <laughs> Not only did I see what the work of a BS chemical engineer in industry would be, which was informative, I was introduced to research in polymeric materials, which has become my life's work. And as in many things in life, a no is as good as a yes in terms of decision making. The co-op program really helped me find the track that I wanted. So for me, it was no to industry at the BS level and yes to graduate school and research, but it remained to be seen what I would do with the advanced degree of the sort that you all have earned today. As I've said, most of the teaching that I was exposed to here at Northwestern was very good, and some was truly superb. It radically influenced my personal learning style, which is gonna be the point of about the next two or three minutes of my talk. Watching some of the faculty here lecture and engage with students, I began to realize that the surest way to cement my understanding of something was to learn to explain it myself. I came to realize that the statement we often hear from students and sometimes uh, feel ourselves, namely, I know the answer, but I can't explain it, is really a statement of lack of understanding. There's a quote from an 18th century French author named Joseph Joubert that succinctly encapsulate what I'm saying. That is, to teach is to learn twice. I really believe that. But teaching isn't all classroom teaching, and I'll, I'll come to that. I admired and still do admire clarity of exposition to the point that I eventually decided to make a career of it as a university professor. But the seed of that decision was planted right here as I learned engineering fundamentals from talented instructors. The 
Irish poet William Butler Yeats made a vivid analogy along these lines. Education is not the filling of a pail, but rather the lighting of a fire. And that's what happened to me here at Northwestern, and I hope it's happened to many of you. I also came to realize that clear explanation and exposition are the essential ingredients of all aspects of an academic job, not just classroom teaching, but also writing papers and proposals, giving seminars and uh, presentations at meetings, short hallway meetings at conferences with influential colleagues and representatives of government funding agencies. Furthermore, I would now assert and, uh, that clear and convincing speaking and writing are arguably the most important talents for any job, not only because of their ability to persuade, to your point of view, but also because of the clarity of underlying thinking that they reveal. So this is the principal message that I'd like to leave with you. No matter what direction your career takes you, take pride and care not only with the work that you do, but in the manner you speak and write about it. In doing that, you'll gain not only the satisfaction of doing a good job, but you will find it easier to achieve and advance in your career, and you'll create a legacy of influence on the career of your colleagues around you. In closing, I'd like to mention that uh, there's a recently public published book to which I'd like to draw your attention, namely the new biography of Winston Churchill by Andrew Roberts that reinforces these points. I can recommend it highly as a holiday gift if you're still looking for something. Um, Churchill, in addition, to be a prominent, in addition to being a prominent statesman, was a prolific orator and author. The first book he ever wrote was never published. It's called The Scaffolding of Rhetoric in which he spelled out the five elements that any compelling speech must have. Well-chosen words, well-crafted sentences, accumulation of argument, use of analogy, and deployment of extravagances. I've analyzed the content of my speech today in terms of these five elements, and I certainly have worked hard at employing the first four uh, scaffolding elements relating to compelling words, sentences, arguments and analogy. I've been, at a loss. I've been at a loss how to incorporate extravagance. I mentioned this to my wife and she said, just tell them you've now heard the greatest commencement speech that's ever been given. <laughs> but that's a little too extravagant, bordering on ridiculous, so I'm, I'm not claiming that. I would just like to say that I've taken the objective of delivering these remarks to you, an audience of very bright people on the verge of the next important steps in your lives very seriously. And I've tried to say something person, personally meaningful to me and helpful to you. You should have confidence that you are very well prepared to do something significant for humanity. So I congratulate you on your accomplishments so far and wish you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you, Matt. We will now continue the ceremony with the hooding of PhD candidates. The Northwestern hood that will be bestowed on each of our doctoral candidates is comprised of a blue velvet ribbon that represents the Doctor of Philosophy in Engineering, and then the purple and gold silk colors of Northwestern. The doctoral advisor will place the hood over the shoulders and offer congratulations to the PhD graduate. Senior Associate Dean Richard Lepto will read the student's name and the doctoral advisor's name as each PhD graduate is hooded. Good evening. Here's how the graduation process at our ceremony will work. I'll read each student's name, and the graduate will then proceed across the stage to receive the hood from his or her advisor. We have a professional photographer at the end of the stage who will take a picture of each graduate after they receive their hood. We'll begin with a PhD program in biomedical engineering. Please, the first row stand, please.
Brian Sotekno, PhD in Biomedical Engineering. Bin Bin Luo, PhD in Chemical and Biological Engineering. Michael Francis Highland, PhD in Civil and Environmental Engineering. <laughs> Changbun Son, PhD in uh, Civil and Environmental Engineering. Carolyn Mary Wilkie, a PhD in Civil and Environmental Engineering. Clifton James McFate, PhD in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. <laughs> Jiehuan Zhao. PhD in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. <laughs> Tashi K. Anderson, PhD in Materials Science and Engineering. And that concludes our PhD candidates finishing in December. Nearly 100 additional PhD candidates will be awarded in June. We'll continue our ceremony by recognizing our master's candidates. Uh, we'll begin with the graduates from the Master of Science in Analytics, but I want to note there was a little bit of confusion on the way in. So as we get into this, there, I'll, I'll try to keep up with the, uh, the program, uh, but you may need to be agile in stepping up to congratulate your graduates. Master of Science in Analytics, Patrick Chang. <laughs> Jamie Chen. <laughs> Shi Chuan Chu.
Luca Colombo. <laughs> Yue Shui. <laughs> Anisha Dubashi. Jinjing Fan Matthew Gallagher Yifei Gao Lauren Elise Gardner Joseph Gilbert Sarah Greenwood Varun Gupta Veronica Shea Wenzi Hu Brooke Kennedy Matthew Tucker Lewis Xiaowei Li Xinwei Li Zili Li Junxian Liu <laughs> Yu Ching Liu <laughs> Daniel F. Lutov Carroll <laughs> Spencer Moon Kehan Pan <laughs> Michael Pauline <laughs> Christian John Rosales <laughs> Jingwei Song Krista Ayako Speed <laughs> Penny Sun <laughs> Yi Wei Sun <laughs> Sarab Tripathi Zi Wen Wang Logan Wilson Hao Zhao
Wenjing Yang. Tong Yin. Sichi Ethel Zhang. We now move to the Master of Science in Biomedical Engineering, Betty Bu. Joseph Gino Caffarini. <laughs> Vladislav Mukin. <laughs> Kayla Grace Rindak. Janet Megan Sanoika. Annie Ruth Nicolay Sawyer. We now move to the Master of Science in Biotechnology, Zachary Paul. And now, Master of Science in Chemical and Biological Engineering, J. Kwan Song. <laughs> Kian He Su. And now, Master of Science in Civil and Environmental Engineering, Wang Long Bai. Yuan Chu. <laughs> Jianjiao Gai. <laughs> Yishan He. <laughs> Chen Yu Hu. Yi Huang. Enzo Zhang. Zhang Li. Ping Fan Lu. <laughs> Dylan Self. <laughs> Yue Shuai. <laughs> Aditya AJ Ukalkar. Andrew Benjamin Warren. And now we move to a Master of Science in Robotics. Michael Wisnetter. Solomon Wisnetter. Master of Science in Civil and Environmental Engineering, Yu Wang. <laughs> Ji Wang. <laughs> Bocheng Zhang.
Hyulong Zhang. Rugyo Zhang. Mengxi Zhao. Sheng Yuan Zhang. Hunting Zhao. And now we move to the Master of Science in Electrical Engineering and Computer Science, Jingwei Bao. <laughs> Zhu Huang Xiao. <laughs> Huijing Chen. Yijiao Shen. <laughs> Junyu Chung. <laughs> Jimmy Chuo. <laughs> Lingfei Chu. Ife Deng. <laughs> ben Ye Fong. <laughs> Jian Yo Fong. <laughs> Su Qian Fu. Xiao Han Zhao. <laughs> Yu Guo. <laughs> Yunfei Gao. <laughs> Kushal Mamadana Guru Krishna. Guan Guan <laughs> Ching Tong Guo <laughs> Tatiana Gushik Shu Yi Han <laughs> Shang Feng Chu <laughs> Shinda Huang <laughs> Ali Janadi Heng Yu Lee. <laughs> Jingwei Lee. <laughs> Runlong Lin. Ting Lu <laughs> Xiao Pan <laughs> Shang Ma <laughs> Yu 
Yaoju Chi. Zhuo Jin. Ling Tao Shui. Bowen Tian. Zhe Tong. Junda Tu. Chao Yu Wan. Sylvia Lorinda Wong. Yu Chen Wang. Li Ye Wei. Dan Wu. Jiang Wu. Zidong Zhao. Yani Se. Rohan Yang. Yuchi Yao. Shinji Yu. Jing Yao Yu. Jianying Yu. Boyan Zhang. Chi Chiang Zhang. Yang Zhao. <laughs> Cheng Zhao. <laughs> Ting He Zhu. Now, Associate Dean Linda Broadbelt will continue to introduce the Master of Science graduates. We now move to the Master of Science in Engineering Design Innovation. Yeah. Harrison George Boricus. Colin Fontana Brown. Joseph Edward Burke. Vaughn Eduardo Calvacci. Sujan Chen. Christopher Datsikas. Lydia Davidson. Yeah, Lydia! Yeah. 
Enes Umar Gotek. David Jacob. Jasmine Kim. Joshua Kim. Beth Sarah Lester. Morgan Joanne Lewis. Anna O'Donnell. Ellen Owens. Byron Pang. Mert Hekdemar. Shoshana Becky Shapiro. Gar Waterman. We now move to the Master of Engineering Management. Vlad Bedzewski. <laughs> Adriana Sierra Rodriguez. We're now going to the Master of Science in Engineering Sciences and Applied Mathematics. Adam Charles Fox. She, her. How you son. We now have graduates from the Master of Science in Information Technology. Patricia Andrea Stephens Vidal. Zitri Zhuo. Master of Science in Materials Science and Engineering, Singi Chan. <laughs> si Lu Guo. <laughs> Xin Yuan Hua. Gigi Kong. Tan Lee. Yang Lu. Aisu Lu. Yifan Ning. <laughs> Junhua Shen. <laughs> Zi Yi Wang. <laughs> Chen.
Jackie Wu. Yu Meng Zhu. Yu Min Sun Zhu. Chi Hui Zhang. We now have the Master of Science in Mechanical Engineering, Ju Song Kai. Kashish Goyal. <laughs> Bailey Johnchin Kwon. <laughs> Chen Yang Meng. <laughs> Mahantesh. Rohit Nooli. Tarun Subramanian. Yu Wei Jia. Tian Cheng Yang. <laughs> Xiao Tuan Zhang. We now uh, invite graduates of the Master of Project Management. Abir Yunus Al Baram. Hiksun Kai. Sijia <laughs> Chen. Yingmen Chen. Tian Tian Dun. Hao Yang Han. Hassan Hanafi. Yifang Hang. Lei Huang. Zhao Jun Ji. Man Jun Jin. Ratna Kuwar. Jing Li. <laughs> Chin She Li. <laughs> Zi Yuan Li. Man Rao Lu. <laughs> Jing Yi Lu.
Pratiksha Mehta. Yi Feng Chen. Kevin Shi. Nasser Shuai. Muhan Song. Wanting Sun <laughs> Meng Wen Tang <laughs> Tanya Vargas Aguero Lei Wong <laughs> Yuni Zhu <laughs> Lu Wei Zhang <laughs> Bo Wen Zhang Yang Zhao Ru Lin Zhou Ying Zhou We next move to the Master of Science in Robotics, Chi Huang Chen. <laughs> Miao Ding Dai. <laughs> Ian Christian Davis. Benjamin Don Amir Hussein Lauren Hudson Srikanth Vedkata Kilaru Waylin Ma Alia Mundaha Mundana. Suhail Pala Suleiman <laughs> Peng Peng <laughs> William Lyle Spees the Second <laughs> Michael Tobiah John Hair Wang Felix Wang This completes the conferral of master's degrees. Please congratulate all of the graduates with a well deserved round of applause.
Thank you. So today marks an important day in your careers and in your life. Your degree is a significant accomplishment, and I hope that the skills that you have learned here have prepared you for a life of impact. Once again, I want to congratulate all the graduates. And, and although your careers may take you far away from campus, we hope to see and hear from you on a frequent basis. As alumni, you are the source of our value. <laughs> we are only as good as the people that we produce. Today, we are giving value to you with a degree. From now on, it's you who will give value to us <laughs> by what you do in your careers. <laughs> so we are all eager. I'm eager, the faculty is eager, to see all that you will accomplish. Congratulations again. Now I ask you that you remain in your places until the faculty and graduates recess. Will the graduates please stand as the procession begins?